Mm-hmm. We get this question every day. I mean, this is this is um, a constant question. And I mean, the first answer is is join the community because you can put your questions out there and you'll get an answer. You'll get somebody answering you. So having that community access is really important. Um, we've created a, a service design 101 page on our website with some links. And so there's a couple books we recommend. Um, the main book is Service Design for Business by the Live Work Guys. That's our number one book recommendation. If you are just getting into service design, highly recommend reading at least the first half of that book. Um, and and just start doing service design. I think that's the other like big tip is is you have to find a way to try to practice this. And it might mean getting out of your comfort zone mm-hmm. and taking charge of an end-to-end um, perspective that nobody's in charge of yet and that you thought wasn't part of your role and responsibility. Yeah. So when I first got into service design, um, I just decided to make up a project and do it and involve my team. And you know, I wasn't in charge of the whole request and onboarding process for new customers, but I did it anyway. And I think for those who out there who are really struggling to find that first place to start, you know, come join the Slack and throw out some ideas and we'll give you feedback because that's what Mm -hmm. that community is about. And if I were to, if I were to, a lot of times, if I were to just tell people like, what do I actually do? Like, what am I going to do tomorrow? Um, what I've seen work at tons of companies, big, big companies that have people that come in and they're, they're drowning in the size of their company. What I'm going to tell people then, and what I'm going to tell them now here on the service design show is, Figure out how to build a blueprint of some experience, um, get get a nice big printer, you know, print it out, you know, do the project, have it ready and go find ways for executives to see it. Because I've seen this in some of the biggest, I mean, Fortune 50 companies where some little small time person will do it mm-hmm. and executives walk by and people walk by and it's the first time they've seen these experiences that might be responsible for hundreds of millions or billions of dollars and they, they look at it. Mm-hmm. And, and where I first one of the biggest wins I've ever had was to have kind of this crappy blueprint that I printed out on pieces of paper and then taped it all together because I didn't have a big printer. And I brought it into an executive review with someone, an EVP who reports right to Intuit CEO. And I showed it to him and I put it in front of him on the conference room table and he looks at it. And it was like, he's a pretty intimidating guy. And he looks at it and he's like, this is what I've been talking about when I say end to end. And that was it. That was, it. That was the start of everything because mm-hmm. it was this simplistic visual that he knew about in his head as the boss of the bosses, but he doesn't sit and work in this every day. And then there's all these people who do work in it every day, but they're too low to see the big picture. Mm-hmm. And suddenly you had executives and contributors on the same page with the shared knowledge, looking at the literal exact same physical thing. And that took us two days worth of getting together, mapping it out, coming up with some weird format. This is like years ago when I first started it into it and just being able to see that it, it awakened everybody to like, you know, serve as blueprinting. And so, so make it evident. Just make, yeah, just bring it. Even Put it in your face. That's basically your tip. Make sure they stumble over it. <laughs>